Hey, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to another free video of the morning news. We have here, okay, story of an instant where he just wanted to win. So back here, okay. And, okay, let's listen the dialogue. Hello, good evening, Rafael. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Well, I'm so-so. So-so, okay. Is it raining where you are right now? Yes, uh, a little bit, but but uh, all day, all day. Estaba así, como se dice? Estaba así. It's been like that the whole it's day. Been like that, uh huh. Oh. And but it's some cool. Ah, it's kind of cold. Oh, okay, yes. I understand. Yes, we are waiting for uh the rest of the people of the of your classmates, just to check if they are able to connect. Okay. Okay. So, no did you finish the platform already? Yes. Okay, that's great. That's great. Yes, that's what I was checking that some people already finished everything. So that's good. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you don't have any question about the platform or anything, right? No. No. Okay. okay, no problem. So I guess that we are going to start right now because it's already eight o'clock. Probably they they have problems because of the rain or the connection, and probably they will they will be here later. So okay. as I already explained yesterday, we are going to finish this week with section five. Vamos a terminar con la sección cinco. In this class, you will listen to a conversation where unreal conditional sentences with if clauses are used in context. Vamos a usar oraciones con condiciones irreales y con if, ¿verdad? Entonces, como ayer estamos viendo, eh, estas son como what would you do 
por ejemplo, son historias de honestidad, que regresan dinero, o que a veces la gente hace trampa y ellos admiten la verdad. Después, different stories, like what we were reading before, right? So, to begin, we are going to check the vocabulary that we are going to use in this uh, section. For example, um, firm, right? Firm. Are you able to listen to it? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, this will be firm. Firm. Then we have dilemma. Dilemma. Do you know what a dilemma is? The, Sorry. Yeah, do you know what is the meaning of dilemma? Dilemma. Mm, like a problem. Yes, like a problem, right? You don't you don't know what to do, right? Uh, you have like different options. You have a dilemma. Also forgive. Forgive. Uh, we have the meaning there also. Confront. Confront. Apology. Apology. Honest. Honest. We had advice. Advice. We have problem. Problem. We have situation. Situation. Should. Should. Should is like a modal verb, right? A modal verb uh, to express um, that we have to do something, right? Uh, good evening, Isaac, Alejandra. Thank you for connecting. Now we are just, right now we are just checking the vocabulary that we are going to use in this section. Estamos revisando el vocabulario que vamos a usar en esta sección. So we have refuse also. Refuse. Lend. Lend. We have to be careful with lend because lend is pedir prestado, ¿verdad? Eh, perdón, es, es eh, dar prestado, dar. Y pedir prestado es borrow, ¿verdad? Entonces, we have to be careful with that verb. Entonces, lend es dar prestado, es prestar, ¿verdad? Lend. We have enjoy. Enjoy. Disagree. Disagree. Agree. Agree. Admit. Admit. Deny. Deny. Divorce. Divorce. Forget. Forget. Marry. Marry. Save. Save. We have remember. Remember. Lose. Lose. Dislike. Dislike. In this case, dislike has two different meanings, right? Aversión and desagradar. It's like synonym, right? It's synonym. So as I was telling you before, borrow is pedir prestado, ¿verdad? Borrow. Borrow es pedir prestado. Y dar prestado es lend, ¿verdad? Lend, que estábamos aquí arriba. Lend. So that is the different. It's not like in, in Spanish. It's different. We have also accept. Accept. Predicament. Predicament. A predicament is an issue, right? Like a dilemma, right? Similar. Uh, we have tough. Tough. We have go. Go. Buy. Buy. Return. 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 We have two different meanings. Regresar o volver, ¿verdad? So we return something or we can return. Spend. Spend. Find. Find. If. If. And honesty. Honesty. Do you have any question about this vocabulary that we are going to use? Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. what is, is the difference between apology and sorry? An apology is like a dis una disculpa, right? And apology. Sorry is a verb. Sorry is like to say sorry, decir lo siento, ¿verdad? So an apology is una disculpa, is like a noun. So that will be the difference. Do you have any other question? Someone else? 
would you like to practice the pronunciation or it's okay like that? Podemos practicar. Okay, yes, yeah, sometimes it's kind of difficult to pronounce some things, right? A veces es difícil pronunciar, pero este, podemos practicar we, because we are going to do that. That's what we are going to do today. So we are going to listen and then you repeat it, right? It doesn't matter if your microphone is on or off, you have to repeat it, right? Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, now listen and repeat, please. Firm. Firm. Uh, yeah. Dilemma. 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 Forgive. 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 Confront. 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 Apology. 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 Honest. 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 Advice. 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 Problem. 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 Situation. Situation. Should. 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 Refuse. 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 Lend. 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 Enjoy. 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 Disagree. 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 Agree. 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 Admit. 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 Deny. 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 Divorce. 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 Forget. 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 Marry. 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 Save. 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 Remember. 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 Lose. 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 Dislike. Dislike. Borrow. Dislike. Borrow. 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 Accept. 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 Predicament. 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 Tough. 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 Oh. Go. 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 Bye. 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 Return. Bye. Return. 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 Spend. 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 Find. 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 If. 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 Honesty. 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 Very good. Perfect. So in this case, honesty, the H is, is muted, right? So uh, for the ones that uh, already arrived, I didn't know uh, what is the difference between lend and borrow? What is the difference entre lend and borrow? Lend is dar prestado. Y borrow? Y borrow, pedir prestado. Pedir prestado. So that borrow. is the difference, right? Len is dar prestado. So, can you lend me, verdad? No le vamos a decir, can you borrow me? Porque ahí le estaremos diciendo, me puedes pedir prestado, verdad? So, me puedes dar prestado, eso, me puedes prestar. Can you lend me, verdad? Can you lend me this? Can you lend me that? So, that is the difference. So, this is the vocabulary that we are going to use in this um, section. And now we have a conversation. This is a conversation about... Uh, Like, what would you do, right, in um, unreal situations? Eso es lo que vamos a practicar hoy. What should we do in unreal situations? Like, we are going to listen to the conversation, and then you will let me know if you have any question or any pronunciation, doubt, or any word that you cannot understand. So this is the conversation. Let me know if you are able to listen to it. Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. If I found $750,000, Part A, Listen and Practice. Look at this. 
some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, so... That is the conversation. Did you understand uh, about the, uh, the meaning of the conversation? Or if there's any word that you didn't get it? What was about the conversation? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? Es de una persona que encontró 750 mil dólares. Exactly. And they were asking, what will you do, right, in that case? And she was uh, saying that she will spend it, right, in different things, in clothes, mm -hmm. in jewelry. Mm -hmm. And then she said, he said that probably somebody can find out about it and she can, mm -hmm. she can go to jail, right? Mm -hmm. So that is uh, the conversation about. We are going to practice it right now. Let me see, are you able to read it? Okay, I need two volunteers. Oh. Two volunteers, please. Dos voluntarios que me ayuden a practicarla. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Who said me? Alejandra and? Felix. And Felix, okay, Alejandra and Felix, and then Rafael, okay? Oh. Okay, go ahead. Mm, I am Phil. Yes. <laughs> okay, you go ahead. You can give. You can be Phil. Yes. Okay. Look at this. Some guy found seven. seven I don't know. <laughs> seven hundred fifty thousand. Seven hundred fifty thousand. He returned it, and the owner simple thing him with a phone call. You are kidding? If I found, if I found 750, I would return it so far. Why, what would you do? Well, I will go out and start spending. I could buy a lot of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Mm, you have got a point there. Very good. You've got a point there. Very good. Perfect. So what is the amount? ¿Cuál es la cantidad que dice ahí? 700? 750,000. 750,000, exactly. Thousand dollars. $750,000, exactly. Then after that, it says, um, I could buy lots of nice clothes. In this case, uh, we see here TH, vemos la TH, y normalmente se pronuncia like, like clothes, right? But in this case, it's clothes, con ese, clothes. And here is jewelry. This is kind of difficult. But that is the pronunciation, jewelry, jewelry. Okay, so jewelry, close, and the amount is 750,000. Now, uh, Rafael, who wants to help Rafael to practice the conversation? ¿Quién le quiere ayudar a Rafael a practicar la conversación? A volunteer? Olga. Okay, <laughs> Olga wants, right? Olga wants. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rafael. Okay. 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 okay, you can go ahead. I'm fat. <laughs> okay. okay, look at this. Some guy found uh, 750,000. Uh -huh. He returned it. And the owner simply thanked, thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. It's a found 7,050, no, $750,000. Mm -hmm. 
um, I will reduce it so fast. Why? What will you do? Well, I go to out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it. And then you call go, call, go to jail. Um, you've got a point there. Very okay, good, very good, perfect. What is the meaning of you got a point there? ¿Qué significa eso? You got a point there. Uh, es como, como tiene razón. Un buen punto de vista. Un buen punto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Perfect. Very good. You got a point there. Perfect. So this is like something that you will do, right? Something if I, if you found $750,000, what would you do? So we are going to learn how to say or how to express different sentences um, for on real situations. So this is what we are going to do right now, right? We are going to understand the use of unreal conditional sentence. And this is what we are going to check. This is the unreal conditionals. We have different conditionals, ¿verdad? Tenemos diferentes condicionales. We have zero conditional. ¿Cuál es la otra condicional que tenemos? What is the other one? The first conditional. And this is the second conditional. You have studied probably already the, the first conditional. Ya debieron haber estudiado la primera condicional, ¿verdad? In the previous classes. Yes. So, yes. Okay, so this will be easy for you. This will be easy. Mm -hmm. So this is some real conditional sentences with if clauses. So this is the imaginary situation. This is what it says. Is. It says, if I found $750,000, right? So that is the imaginary situation. This is a clause mm -hmm. because it doesn't make sense by itself. Es una cláusula porque no tiene sentido por ella misma. So that's what is, is, is not a sentence, it's a clause. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I found $750,000 and this is the consequence, mm -hmm. I will spend it. I wouldn't return it so fast. I could buy lots of ni nice clothes and jewelry. I might go to the police. What would you do if you found $750,000? So uh, this is like we are going to do it. This is the imaginary situation and this is the consequence, right? And with the consequence, we can use would, could, mm -hmm. or, might. or might. So you already studied this, right, in the platform. Ya estudiaron esto en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Okay, perfect. So uh, let's see, um, Isaac, what is would, could, or might? ¿Qué son esos? Um, what are those modal. would? Models, very good, perfect, modal verbs, right? So they are modal verbs. So we are going to check here. Let me see here. Quiero ver. So this is just extra information, right? So we have um, the conditional, if you were. Let's see here. This is la formación del segundo condicional. For example, uh, the option one is if subject plus past plus subject plus will, right? So if you, we are going to check this later porque creo que esto lo vamos a ver después. Pero vamos a practicar primero con esta, este, estas oraciones. We are going to practice first with these sentences, with unreal sentences. For example, Felix, if you, if you had $750,000, what would you do? Um, I could buy a, a house. Uh -huh, you could buy a house. Very good. Very good. What else would you buy? Um, another thing, maybe uh, another car. Another car. Perfect. 
Uh, yeah, start... I could I could go to travel around the uh, around the world. You could travel around the world. Perfect, Olga. For example, if you were uh, the president of El Salvador, what would you do? I I will do. Uh, um, I don't. Uh, Permitir or let 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 in the aborto. Abortion. You wouldn't allow the abortion. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why? No lo permitiría. Why? Because uh, uh, the the is a boy in in el vientre de una mujer. Es una vida. It's a life. It's a life. So for uh, you, that is uh -huh. not permitted. No. Okay. No. Very good. I understand. So you wouldn't allow. Abortion. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Even though many people do abortions, right? Even if it is yes. because in our country it's not legal abortion, but many yes. people mm -hmm. do it anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. I I I I would like uh, uh, more information about the uh, sexual education for for the the people. Uh, in our country and uh, I think no only uh, anticonceptivos uh, but um, um, the import uh, the, uh, la import lo importante de tener un, un, un sexo uh, responsable Yes, you have to be responsible. Mm -hmm. And how, how do you say anticonceptivo in English? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> contraceptive, right? Oh, contraceptive, okay. yes. Okay. So with contraceptives, not only to teach them, but also to be responsible with their sexuality. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Very good point. So that would be very good. You would be a very good president, probably. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Perfect. Okay. Well, for Olga. And uh, let's see, Rafael, what would you do if you have to go to another country? Where would you go? I would go, uh, go or living. Go to live or visit, probably. Uh, I, I would like uh, in Suiza, how do you say Suiza? Sweden. Uh, Sweden, Suecia. Sue, no, Suiza. Suiza is Switzerland. Switzerland. So you would like to go to Switzerland. Why? Because it's so beautiful landscape. Yes, it's beautiful. It's so relaxed, the watch. And uh, to me, it looks so interesting. Uh, the mountain, the snow, the, the, the people. Uh, it's is nice to me okay. <laughs> okay so that would be your your favorite country your favorite destination you like the weather you like the people you like the culture so that would be switzerland right okay perfect rafael so we are going to learn more about this do you have any questions about unreal conditionals preguntas the last unreal conditionals no questions? Everything's clear? No, teacher. I, I, everything okay. is fine. We're going to review just a little bit of conditionals, okay? Let's see here. This is the zero conditional, okay? So zero conditional is simple present or present simple plus present simple, right? If you leave ice in the sun, it melts. So zero conditionals are used for things that are true, cosas que son reales, ya se comprobaron, 
So, eh, son informaciones generales, ¿verdad? Son con, so, mm -hmm. this is a zero conditional. So, we already know that if you leave ice in the sun, it melts, right? Si dejamos hielo bajo el sol, se derrite. So, we already know that. That is the zero conditional. Now, what we are going to study is the second conditional, right? And this is how it is formed, right? The present simple and the present simple. It doesn't change. If you can see here, this is the condition and the verb is in present, simple present and also melts, right? Simple present. So is a fact, es un hecho or is a general truth? That is a zero condition now. And we have more examples here. Alejandra, can you read the examples, please? If you leave ice in the sun, it melts. If you stand in the rain, you get wet. If you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. If you put water in the freezer, it becomes ice. If I drink coffee at night, it takes me it takes me a long time to fall asleep. Exactly, perfect. So as you can see, it's a condition and a result, but it's, it's simple present, simple present, but it's something that we already know that will, ha will happen, right? Now, um, this is the same uh, condition, right? If you can see here, we have a comma, and here we don't have a comma. Why? Because if we use if at the beginning, we use the comma. But if we use if at the end of the whole sentence, we don't need a comma. And that is for all the conditionals. You see, this is another example. We have a comma here. If I drink coffee at night, it takes me longer time to fall asleep. So I have a comma here, right? In here, we don't need a comma. Also, we can use instead of if, we can use when, right? If you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. When you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. We can use both if and when. Now we have the first conditional, right? This is a review. Esto solo es un repaso. This is a simple present plus future simple or simple future, right? If we work hard, we will finish the project on time. This is used to express a real or very probable situation in the future. Es algo que podría pasar que probablemente pase, ¿verdad? If we work hard, we will finish the project on time. So it uh, refers to things that will possibly happen in the future if the condition is met. We are predicting likely result in the future. Ese es el, el primero, entonces, la primera condicional es simple present plus si, uh, future simple or simple uh, simple future, right? And things that probably are going to happen. And we have here uh, an example. If we work hard, we will finish the project on time. This is the if, the condition, and this is the, this is the result. So most likely that will happen, right? Most likely. And we have more examples here. Uh, Isa, can you read the examples, please? Okay. If we work hard, we will finish the project on time. If you like Susie Singer, then you love her new album. If you take this me medicine, you will feel much better. Where are my keys? If you look in the garage, you will find them. Exactly. Where are my keys? If you look in the garage, you will find them. So this is the condition. This is the result, right? The most likely will happen. And we have more here, right? If I see John, I won't tell him about the surprise. If I don't feel well tomorrow, I won't go to work. If it is sunny tomorrow, we will have a picnic at the park. If he doesn't arrive soon, we will live without him. So that is the first conditional. In this case, um, it says, if it will rain tomorrow, si lloverá mañana, no, right? That is not possible to use will in the if clause. So only uh, in the result. 
Y lo mismo con la coma. It's the same with the comma, right? If the if goes at the beginning, we use the comma. If it goes at the end, no comma. We have another example here. We have the comma here and we don't have the comma here. This is the first conditional. And it says the first conditional is common when we are talking about possible plans, promises, warnings, threats, or persuading someone. So when we try, we, we want to express this, we use the first conditional. And these are the more examples, right? If I go to Italy next week for work, I'll visit the Colosseum. If I have time tomorrow, I will help you. If you touch that wire, you will get an electric shock, the condition and the result. And these are all the conditionals, right? The zero conditional, the first conditional, the, this is the one that we are going to study, the second conditional, and the third conditional you are going to study later. So the second conditional is past simple or simple past. So we need to know the past of the verbs plus would, could, or might, right? And this is used for hypothetical or unlikely situations, unreal or improbable situation now or in the future. So that is just for unreal situations. And this is the... Um, the second conditional, right? For hypothetical, unlikely, or impossible things. If plus past simple. You already know the past, right? So you won't have any problem. And would, right? So what we need to do right now is just to practice about this. Example, if I won the lottery, I will travel around the world. So that is an hypothetical situation. Uh, Felix, can you read the other examples for the second conditional, please? If I won the lottery, I will travel around around the world. Oh, no, the second. If I went his name, I will tell you. Uh -huh, what else? If I didn't have a hedge, I will go to the party. If I become president, I will reduce the salaries of all politicals. Politicians, okay, Politician. very good. Politician. <laughs> Politician. Good. Yes. Uh, so I knew if I knew his name, that is the 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 past, right? Of which verb? ¿Cuál es el pasado de este verbo? New. No. New es el pasado. El presente es no. No. Very good. No. Exactly. So uh, also in uh, negatives, right? If I didn't have a headache, right? If I didn't, I don't say if I don't, right? If I didn't, became, that is the past of which verb? Become. Become, exactly, become. become. So we use the past, right? And then in the result, we use would or uh, could or might, right? <laughs> And uh, this is more, these are more examples. I don't know if, uh, let's see, Olga, can you read the, the rest of the examples? Okay. I would be happy if I had more free time. I would, the, I would tell you the answer if I knew what it was. There would be fewer accidents if everyone drove more carefully. We would have a lot of money if we sold our house. Would she came if I paid for her flight? Ah, es pregunta, perdón. Would she came if I paid for her flight? Mm -hmm. Would you accept the job if they offered it, it to you? What would you do if you won the lottery? Lottery, lottery or lottery? Okay, lottery. What would you do if you saw a UFO? A UFO, exactly. So <laughs> in this case, uh, as you can, a UFO, yes. In this case, is as you can see, is the first is wood. 
the, mm -hmm. the first part of the sentence and then at the end is if, the if clause, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we don't use the comma. So we have mm -hmm. the conditional verb plus will plus will plus verb plus the if plus the past simple. So we can uh, change it if you want to. Another important thing is if I were, si yo digo, si yo quiero decir, si yo fuera el presidente, ¿verdad? something unreal, yo no voy a decir if I was. Mm -hmm. en, en, simple, en simple past es I was, right? I was here, I was a teacher, I was in at, at the house, right? But in the conditional, we don't use I were if I was. We use if I were for everything, for I, for he, for she, for it. For all of them, we use were. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it is in the subjunctive mood. Está en el modo subjuntivo. Eh, si yo fuera, verdad? Si yo fuera. Mm -hmm. For example, if I, if I were not in debt, I will quit my job. Si no tuviera deudas, renunciaría a mi trabajo. ¿verdad? I will quit my job. If he were taller, he'd be accepted into the team. Si fuera más alto, sería aceptado en el equipo, right? Mm -hmm. She would still be correcting my grammar if she were still alive. Todavía me estuviera corrigiendo mi gramática si estuviera viva, si aún estuviera viva. If she were still alive. So, in informal English, uh, as you can see there, it, some people say, if I was, mm -hmm. or they use was for everything. They use, if I was, if he was, if they was. So, that is informal, right? Mm -hmm. But the correct rule is if I were, right? If were for everything. Questions about this? No questions, right? Okay, perfect. Ah, also could, we, we can use could, right? As we already checked there, we can use could and we can use might for second conditionals, right? If he trained every day, he could represent his country. If I had a little more money, I could buy a car. So we are going to practice right now. Uh, it's going to be October and in October, there is like this costume that probably is not from our culture, but from you know, the United States that they celebrate uh, Halloween, right? So we are going to answer these questions. For example, Raphael, if someone offered to tell you your future, would you want to know that? Uh, what's the meaning of it? Offer, offer se ofreciera. If someone offered to tell your future, would you want to know? Uh, honesty and nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Why would you you wouldn't like to know your future? Uh, well, I feel some scared. I don't believe when somebody tells you about your your own life, own life, uh, about the future. Uh, to me, it's not. Uh, it's not something good. It's not mm. something good, and you wouldn't believe it, right? You wouldn't believe like next yeah. year you are going to win a lot of money. You are going to win the lottery, something like that, right? Some people, some people believe in in. I don't like you don't like that but you don't like no. it because you don't want to know or you don't like it because you don't believe in that uh, I, I don't believe in that Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Rafael, for your opinion. Let's see next one. Rafael, choose someone else to answer the next question. Alejandra. Alejandra, if there was a holiday in a haunted house available... No, that one no. Vamos a la, la otra. 
la otra está más corta. Uh -huh. If your friend told you they had seen a ghost, would you believe them? Yes or no, Alejandra? If my friend told me they had seen a ghost, I wouldn't believe them. <laughs> you wouldn't believe, you don't believe in ghosts? No. no. <laughs> Why? Because I think that that's not so true. You don't that... believe that that is true. You have never experienced like like supernatural things, like something that is moving, or you have never seen like a shadow, something like that. No, in my life, no. <laughs> no. So you're not scared no. from ghosts. You're not scared from ghosts. Not really. Okay. Or... Also, I don't like the, I don't know, the scary movies. <laughs> you don't like scary movies, but you don't no. believe in ghosts, right? No. Okay. okay, very good. Perfect, Alejandra. Choose someone else from your classmate to answer the, the next question. Mm, Felix. Okay, Felix. If you heard strange noises at night, would you believe it was a ghost? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you believe in ghosts. Uh, maybe. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe <laughs> yes and no, right? You yeah, know. fifty, fifty. Sometimes I think uh, the ghosts are real. Sometimes I don't believe. Okay, so <laughs> have have you experienced something, or somebody have told you something like? About ghosts uh, in, in, in the past, I think I'm not sure, but uh, uh, when I was a child, I I, I, I saw no, see, I saw a, a ghost, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. <laughs> so, you saw a ghost? No, you believe I, you saw I saw a B, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> you, saw, you saw a real ghost, uh huh. So, in, how was it? Um, I don't know. Uh, just it. Uh, solo parado ahí. <laughs> it was standing Stand there. there. <laughs> it was standing there. And you were in your house, or you were at uh, the street? Yes, it uh, was in my house. In your house, in your bedroom, or in the kitchen? Uh, in the living room. In the living room. Yeah. But yes. you didn't, you didn't, you didn't know this ghost. You didn't know it was an old man or an old woman or. Uh, I think it was a, a woman, an a old woman. woman, an old woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what did you do when you saw this ghost? Um, I run. <laughs> I, I uh -huh. run. I run. <laughs> and did you tell your parents? Uh, no, because uh, I was alone. Ah, okay, you were alone. No. So, uh, but you were not scared of living in that house or anything. Nothing else happened. Nada más le pasó ahí en esa casa. Solo eso. Yes. <laughs> Only that. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you for your experience. Super nice. You see, we don't know, right? We don't know. Probably some people have some experiences. Felix, choose someone else to answer the next question. Okay. Uh, Alejandra. No, Alejandra already participated. Uh, Isaac. Okay, Isaac. Isaac. Let's see. Would you communicate with the dead? If you could. No. No, why? I could. Because I am very miedoso, peaceful, creo que es algo. Uh -huh. Yo soy muy miedoso. <laughs> you don't like that. No. For example, there, there, some people say that with the Ouija board, Ouija board la Ouija, you can communicate with that people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. you have never you would you will never try that no never I, okay never, never. 
but you're not scared. Do you believe in ghosts or you don't believe in ghosts? Maybe. Maybe, like 50-50, oh like Felix. Yeah. But you have never experienced something like supernatural, something like that. No. 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 Okay, very good. Perfect. So, yeah, some people, uh, for example, in my my in my case, I've never experienced something like that, like seeing a ghost or things that they move. Like some people have told me, but I've never experienced that. Okay, very good. Okay. And we have the last one, Olga. If you okay. thought your house is haunted, what would you do? I really not, don't know. But I, I think I read the Bible in in, uh, in, in voz alta. No sé cómo se dice. Aloud. Aloud. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you if you believe that your house is haunted, you will read the Bible aloud. Yes. Only uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Pray, marry God, and 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 give a protection of them for the for god okay yes. so you will ask for protection you will pray yes yes okay. uh, uh -huh. i <laughs> i uh, um long ago our mm -hmm. friend um uh, they living in in a house um in this uh, in this same uh um uh, uh, in, parecido a esto y tuvieron que dejar la casa. They have to leave the house? Yes. Because, because it was haunted? Uh -huh, because uh, the, the furniture um, eh, prendían en llamas. Really? Yes. <laughs> But it, it was like... Very scary. <laughs> yes. Very, <laughs> very hard. And, and, and the picture in the, in the wall and uh -huh. um, uh, Volaba. <laughs> it was flying. Like yes, yes. yes. Uh, I, 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 they can, they, they can, um, can't uh, uh, live in, in, in the house. They couldn't live in the house, so uh -huh. they have to leave. Yes. And they were your friends. Um, ellos um, viven ahora en Estados Unidos. Ah, <laughs> uh, they were the way to the United States. Yes. But you, you, but you never saw something like that when you visited them. No. <laughs> <laughs> like in no. fire. <laughs> no. Okay. It's very difficult. <laughs> yeah, very difficult situation. That's that's really weird, right? But some people have left houses because of that reason also. But we don't know, right? Mm -hmm. As as some people say. But in your house, mm -hmm. nothing. Everything is normal, no, right? No. Thanks to God, no. Never. Okay. okay, that's good. That's good. Very good. So hey, very you good. teacher. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I I don't I don't I've never seen a ghost like I've never seen things like Olga mentioned, like things flying, or like Felix, right? That they he saw a, a woman standing up. I've never seen that. But in my aunt's house, um some people have seen different things, they hear noises and things like that. But she lives in, in Isalco, my aunt. And they live, they say that Isalco is kind of dangerous, right? Like witchery <laughs> and things like that. Yes. yes, it's kind of dangerous. So that that's the most that I have I've experienced. But I, I have never seen like a ghost or anything like that. I don't know uh, what will I do. Probably I will scare, I will run like Felix, right? But I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of difficult. Okay, very good. That was a very good topic because it was something unreal, right? We don't some people for people that don't believe that. Probably you already checked this, uh, this grammar structure in the platform. Esto es lo que sale en la plataforma. Ya lo vieron, verdad? So this is just the grammar structure if clause, uh, the if plus past simple. Main clause, would, could, might, plus verb. It says it is important to take into account that in conditional, it is usual to see um, he, she, it, where, right? Where instead of was. So we were explaining that before. If he were friendly, he will be good friends. 
and the punctuation, the comma, esto también ya lo explicamos, ¿verdad? Que si va al principio la if clause, we place a comma. But if it goes at the end, no comma, right? For example, if I were in France, comma, I will visit the Eiffel Tower or Eiffel Tower. And this one, I will visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in France. The same sentence, but it's, it's changed. So let's see if we have an activity. We are going to, yes. We are going to do something like for practice tomorrow, I want you to write around four or five sentences using the second conditional, okay? Something that you would like to do something that you would like to, something unreal, right? For example, if I won the lottery, I will travel around the world. And then I, I will ask you about those sentences. Yo le voy a preguntar de esas oraciones que ustedes hicieron. You can talk about ghosts also if you want to. If, I, if I've seen a ghost, uh, I will run. Or if I, had, if I had done this, right? The second conditional is just for unreal situations. Do you have any questions right now about the conditionals? Preguntas acerca de lo condicional? No questions? No questions, no, but it's a lot of information. Yes, it's a lot of information. Well, actually it's not that much because you just need to check the, the structure, right? The structure that is this is playing here in the, in the platform. We are not going to check all of the conditionals. No vamos a ver todas las condicionales. Solo la segunda, just a second, porque la zero conditional, la zero conditional y la first conditional, esa ya la vieron anteriormente. Ya pueden, deberían de poder usarla. Entonces, solo vamos a ver la segunda. Eso era un repaso, lo que yo les quise poner ahí, ¿verdad? Después van a ver la third conditional, pero por el momento solo la second conditional. And you just need to follow this structure, right? This structure, for example, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Um, Rafael, why do we use the second conditional? ¿Para qué usamos la second conditional? <laughs> what do we use it for? For unreal uh, situations, yeah, right? Because... Para situaciones que no son reales, la usamos. Okay. Okay, okay, perfect. So the second conditional, the one that we are going to study, is for unreal situation. Olga, what is... Uh, the models that we can use with the second conditional. ¿Qué, moda, qué models o los model verbs podemos usar para la second conditional? Uh, good, could, y, y might. Very good, perfect. Mm -hmm. Alejandra, if I place the if clause at the beginning, do I place a comma, yes or no? At the beginning, no. Yes, at the beginning, yes, Alejandra. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning, yes. Like in this one, if I were in France, comma, I will visit the Eiffel Tower. Oh, but okay. if it is the opposite, no comma, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So uh, if you don't have any more questions, I will see you tomorrow. Practice. Traten de practicar. Creen sus propias oraciones. No las copien. Traten de usar esta, esta fórmula, okay? And tomorrow we are going to check it, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice night and rest, please. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you, Thank teacher. You. Good Thank night. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. And don't be scared of ghosts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you. Bye. Yes.